In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up reactive images for Discord. What I mean by reactive image is that you can set up a virtual camera and instead of having your face talking, you will have some sort of virtual camera animation that will be opening its mouth when you're talking and closing it when you're silent. So I hope you find that fun and interesting. Let's start with the tutorial. First, I have my Discord server open right here. Um, it's just a test server. I'm going to join a voice um, channel so that you can see the camera thing. So right now you can see that it's detecting my voice. I'm speaking at the moment. I'm gonna start a video call. I will be selecting the OBS virtual camera. I'm gonna show you how that works right now. Basically, I'm gonna turn on the camera and as you can see, basically it's, it's nothing at the moment. So I'm gonna get out of that channel and here you have just the OBS logo. So if you don't have OBS installed, you can go to obsproject.com and then you can download it for Windows or Mac and you will be able with OBS to set up a virtual camera. Once you have OBS installed, I have everything default at the moment so that it's not complicated for you. And on the right here, you have start virtual camera. So we can start a virtual camera, blah, 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 blah. And here, everything that we have in this screen right now, it's what it's gonna be shown in our Discord server. So as you can see, it's black because our OBS screen is black. So now that we have our camera up and running and we have our black screen right here, let's go ahead and set up the reactive image. So we're going to go to this website called discord-reactive-images.fugi.tech. I'm going to leave the link in the description for both this site the OBS and maybe also the, the images that I used. So once you are on this site, you can just log in with your Discord account. I'm just gonna click log in here. And it's asking me to authorize, there we go. So once you authorize to your Discord account, I have previously uploaded two images. So basically you have the this part right here, set an active image and set speaking image. You're just gonna have two images. I am personally simulating like I'm talking. So when I have no audio, I will show it with a mouse closed. And when I'm speaking, I will show it with like the mouth open. So I've selected these two images. So if you want to select a new image, you just select on this part right here, just click where it says new image, and then just look for the image that you want to open. I'm using a Mac, but it's the exact same thing on Windows. So don't be intimidated by that. And um, yeah, so just select the image where it's go that's going to have the closed mouth. And then on the right, on the active image, just open select the image that's going to have the open mouth so basically just click save on both and that should do it on this part now here on the right side we're going to copy this link right here i'm going to copy this link and i'm going to go to my obs and i'm going to add on the set where it says sources i'm going to add a new browser source i click the plus sign right and then go browser and I'm just going to click OK because my keyboard is disconnected so I cannot type anything. Well, we have URL. We're going to delete this default thing and I'm going to paste the link that I got from that site and I'm going to click OK. You can increase or decrease the width here, but that's not very important. You can also just do it by drag and dropping stuff here. So as you can see, it changes every time I speak. <laughs> I think you can just make it bigger or even change the settings somewhere. That's that's additional settings. I just want you to see how to get this done. So basically you don't have you don't have to do anything else. If we go back to Discord, you see now that my camera is reacting to me speaking. It has this little thing here called bounce effect, which might look cool. I'm just gonna click on this bounce thing and I'm gonna click apply. And it kind of like just like does a little dance when you speak. Ah, you see, like the image kind of like jumps a little when you speak. <laughs> so as long as you're making noise, you will have the other, the active image. So yeah, I'm making weird pauses so that it changes. <laughs> So that's how you can set up some reactive images. If you want to make any changes, then you will have to make them directly here in OBS, right? Um, so if you want to transform, like fit it to screen, fit it to vertical, you know, anything you want, just switch it around. Now you can see if you flip it in, in OBS, now you have the same 
direction that it had on the website. So all the changes that you want to make to the camera, just make them in OBS directly and OBS shoots the image to your Discord. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Have an amazing rest of the day, my friends, and stay safe up there.